Good evening, Brain Stuff. I'm Kristen Conger, and we need to have a talk about your little sleep problem. You know what I'm talking about, the one where you're just about to fall blissfully asleep when you suddenly uh. feel like you're falling, as if someone threw you out of a tree. Now, what's important is that you're not alone. According to the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, up to 70% of us experience this falling sensation and then twitch or jerk in our sleep. Science and medicine refer to any involuntary jerking of our muscles like this as myoclonus. I know it sounds like a cross between those weird bat things in The Empire Strikes Back and that movie about the haunted mirror, but there are all kinds of twitches classified as myoclonus. Both contractions and relaxations of muscles fall under this category, and the simplest example is when we hiccup. <gasps> the type of myoclonus that causes you to twitch in your sleep is called a sleep start, or a hypnagogic jerk. Now these are not hypnotists who have broken up with you via text message. Larry. No, hypnagogic jerks, or hypnic jerks as the cool kids are calling it these days, happen just as you're transitioning between wakefulness and sleep. They're quite common, perfectly normal, and some people sleep right through the twitching without even knowing it. The brief jerking around of your limbs lasts only half a second or less. And one thing we know for sure is that they are not the same as the involuntary twitches you sometimes have during REM sleep while dreaming or other movements caused by snoring or grinding teeth. Now there are two theories as to what's going on with hypnagogic jerks, but fair warning, neither have evidence to really back them up. And unsurprisingly, both involve our brains inferring that we're falling when we're not. The first is that hypnagogic jerks are part of our natural transition into sleep. It's possible that our nerves misfire when our muscles calm down because our brain assumes that relaxation means we're falling. The second idea is that these spasms are reflexes we still retain as evolved primates. You know, if you believe in that sort of thing. Now this could also be designed to keep you from falling out of a tree you're sleeping in, causing you to quickly react. But as the old Japanese proverb goes, even monkeys fall from trees. However that sounds in Japanese, because I don't speak it, not gonna try. So myoclonus isn't 100% understood, and we don't know why hypnagogic jerks happen, but there are a few things we believe can make them worse. Stress, too much caffeine, intense exercise, and smoking are all on the list, especially if you're doing all of those things at the same time. But if you're experiencing them constantly and they keep you from sleeping, you should go talk to your doctor. And something else you should see is the Sleep in Numbers video from our friends at All Time Numbers, because this and that are part of a little collaboration we're doing, so be sure to check that out. The link to it will be floating somewhere around my body. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a minute of brain stuff.